and welcome back everyone to not some development and today i will be teaching you how to make a view model for any gun especially any of these guns as asked by you guys in the comments so enjoy the video let's get into it first of all we're going to need to import a couple of things i'm gonna go ahead and look for a view model so i'm gonna search up view model and just import I like this one so just import that in and then I will also need some guns so I will look for a comprehensive gun kit and there it is so I'll go ahead and import that too so what we have now is a bunch of guns that we can use in a view model I'll just carry it over here as you can see, all we have to do now is just put the gun into the hands and then make it stick to our character. So I'm going to go ahead and fix a couple of things about this view model. I will go ahead here, open it up and just oh, delete the humanoid part. So click, just go ahead and delete that. And then where it says camera bone, I'm going to rename it to fake camera since this is the part that's holding our camera part now also in this I'm going to go ahead and set the transparency to one since I don't want it to have any color so that's transparent I'm gonna make sure that all of these parts right here have um they don't cast the shadow shadows are off then um our can collider is off and our anchor is off except in the humanoid root part make sure that the anchored is on so anchored on now we have a ready view model now we just have to put that in there for this tutorial I will use the AK-47 so um, I'm gonna go here and look for weapons assault rifles AK variants. Um, I like this one, like the 74. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it and then take one of these out and move it to workspace. Quickly pull it out of here. So click move and then just take it out of there. And uh, quickly just rotate it. So rotate. Let's do 90 degrees. So uh, model rotate. Let's change that to 90. Quickly go ahead and just set it up right. Turn that off. Turn both of these off so it's easier to work with the gun. Unless you want to do big changes. So here. And I'm going to just move it into the right hand of the person. So move and then let's see what we have. You might need to scale it because it might be a little bit small for the for the arms because you don't want the arm to be bigger than the gun. So I'm going to scale it up a little bit. So click scale and then just I think that's about fine. I think that's fine. I think that's good. And then set it to about where the person would be holding it. I think that's about right. Okay. So now we have to actually do some work on this gun. I want to go ahead and rename the parts. I know this is annoying, but uh, it'll be way easier to animate it or build it later. So 
let me just rename them and I'll see you in a second. Now that I have renamed every single part of the gun, I can go ahead and move our AK-47 into our view model. So I'll just go ahead and take that, drag it in right here. And then only now I can right click and click ungroup. So I'm connecting all of these parts to the view model. Now they're part of it. So if I move this, hold up. If I move it around, the gun's going to move with the hands. I'm going to go ahead and find the left arm. And then just go ahead and go click model. Make sure these two are off, which will make... Oh, no, not these. These two are off. Because it'll be way easier to make little adjustments. Go ahead and I'll rotate up. To the left. And then I'll just go ahead and move it. here 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 make sure when you're doing this your your arm won't like take up too much space because you don't want it to cover your gun because the focus point is your gun not your arms so i'll actually rotate it more this way I think that's pretty good. You can actually check this by using a plugin called a camera locker, which basically will allow you to kind of look at the perspective of the player before actually like publishing anything. So you're going to go ahead and select fake camera and click camera locker. I will link this below the video in the description. And as you can see, we get an idea of what the player will be looking at. So let's quickly fix this by um, first leaving the camera feature and I actually want to pick this up because the floor is getting in the way. So quickly go ahead and just I'm going to select everything that is not the humanoid root part or um, the fake camera. So go all the way down, click trigger. Now, here I'm just gonna gonna go ahead and click Shift, select everything, and then Control or Grip. So I've selected every part of this view model except the humanoid root part, fake camera, and I'll just go ahead and drag it back and kind of just guess where it belongs. So now I'm gonna check it again, camera locker, and I actually like this. It looks pretty good. Maybe I'll move it a little bit closer, more to the center, but you get the idea. I might improve this off camera, but um, this looks this looks pretty good. It looks fine. Now, this is basically our view model, but at this point, if we just play this, it's going to fall apart because it's not rigged. So, actually, first of all, I want to rename this to... Um, AK-74, because, oh, 74, uh, so I can recognize this model anytime I need to. Now, for this next part, you will need a plugin called Rig Edit Light. All of these are free, and I'll link them in the description below the video. So you're going to go ahead and select your um, view model, click this thingy, and then you have your joints, which are pretty much pointless right now so I'm gonna go ahead and click the humanoid root part and select all of these and you should see something like that and then just click reset joints which will fix the the alignment for us now we have to do one really important thing I'm gonna exit the editor and quickly quickly add a part so I'm just going to go ahead and um, part and I'll make it super small like one point 
I mean 0 0.1 by like 0 0.1 by like 0 0.1. What this is going to be is the main which is holding our whole gun together and will be rotated around basically like I guess the the middle or the holding structure. And you can go ahead and rename it. Call it main. And I'm gonna go ahead and um turn off can collide make sure anchor is off and it doesn't cast a shadow so um doesn't cast a shadow and set transparency to one okay there we go wait main and then i will move it somewhere right about like around the handle inside of the gun so let's say right about here maybe doesn't really matter that much but i think that's good and i will move it into our view model so take the main into the view model just like that okay now we can start start building our rig first of all you're gonna go to um humanoid root part and then click control and then main and create a joint after that you're going to do your weld so i'm gonna go click main and then weld pretty much everything that's not involved in reloading so i'm gonna go ahead and click just hold control down and then um trigger structure part site muzzle uh let's do handle gas dust cover connector and body so everything inside a charging handle in the mag i will just create a weld and then I will also select main and then do the reloadable parts. So again, control mag and then charging handle and create a weld again. Okay, that is pretty much a finished rig right there. It is done, everything is welded. Now we're gonna have to put it into the hands of our player. First of all, we're going to go to replicated storage, add and create a folder that we will call view models. This is where your guns and view models are going to go. If you have multiple of them or just one, doesn't really matter. This is what's going to be stored. So I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate it. Just going to duplicate and then drag one of them into the our view models folder will have to add a little bit of code and lucky for you i will just post the link to the whole code in the description you will be granted with a page that looks kind of like this this is it so you will go to starter player starter player scripts and add a local local script and then you will just rename hello, local script rename it frame Client and this is the script that's going to run on the player that joins the game Go ahead and just get rid of that clear it up Click the link in the description copy all of this code and Then just post paste it into your code uh, Important thing Depending on which gun you're using for your view model. So mine's called AK 74 Make sure the exact same thing is written here. Don't worry about the Glock knife and the grenade. This is for the next video that I'll probably do with more guns and stuff. But the point is, make sure this perfectly matches this. And now for one last thing, you'll need to go to your replicated storage, add another folder, rename it into modules. And this is the folder that will hold scripts for all of your guns. So like different ammo, different damage. This is the script. You'll um, add the, mod the module scripts into this folder. And then you rename it to match your gun. Mine is 
AK-74, make sure it, like it's letter per letter, number per number, exactly what the gun is. And just change these two settings. And, then, and that's it, you're done. Just go ahead, run that. And boom, as we can see, I'll just zoom in here. It, it is very still, but our view model is in place. It works. It's connected to our player. I jump, walk with it. Perfect. If you want more videos just like that one, or continue these series to make a gun that looks like this, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, join my Discord, and I will teach you how to make a full-blown FPS game just like this one. See you in the next video.